that one move kind of like gives him so much. Yeah, that was a crazy good change for him. But here we go. Losers final first to three games. Kakoma using the Phoenix going up against Spiro Jin with the Eddie Gordo. USA versus Korea. We're going to see a lot of that maybe. Or we're going to see just one of that. Who knows? Let's yep. see how Spiro does here. It's another first to three in this loser's final. It's the float. Okay. He's tickling his toes. All day. Yeah. The combo of a small life deficit. Now he has to approach. Whoa, well, again. Little, little bit too, like, <laughs> and Spiro's throwing out these down four and three plus fours. He did it against Anakin, too. Like, it's more like anticipation than reaction. Yeah, it is. Could agree with that completely. Yeah. When God's for the pressure now, got it to wall, and wow, second hit caught him. Should be enough to kill. Yes. Yeah. Round one to Spiro. Nicely wow. done. Fight. Yeah. Holy moly. Size the team before is such a weird hitbox. Yeah, it got nerfed, I think, in season two that they nerfed the hitbox a little bit. So before that it was really, really good. Now it's it just got pretty good. Range mode now for Spiro, but a huge lifely for Kakoma. And you know, Kakoma's just chilling. He can take a lot of damage. Beautiful punish on that relaxed four. Minus 13. Fight. That is good to know. The Phoenix. Iron Mountain. Like this this Eddie Paul matchup kind of reminds me of the, the Take Kazumi stuff. It's like. Spiro's trying to win like a little bit of damage at a time, but at any point, Paul could just blow you up. Yeah, and this is the thing though, he needed to play this way against Anakin. He started off that way, but then he got really aggressive and started whipping in front of Anakin all day. Yeah, so I think he really needs trying to slow it back down and get back to the mode they need to beat Anakin later. If he gets back to Anakin. Mm -hmm. But Kakoma, getting a good life lead in this third round. Spiro has rage, the red dress is on. Running slide, a little bit of damage. I just realized Piro in this top three is the person who's not playing for anything. Nope. He had no qualification chance, but he's the one who's in the top three of the tournament. He's just playing for the pride and glory of winning this one event. I mean, but the other two guys in the top three, they're already qualified. Yes. You know, and everyone else who was fighting for qualifi qualification, they're not in this top three. Nope. It's That's just awesome. a, it's just a regular old final Masters of the Year now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful back three three with punch there. Spirogen gets him to the wall here. Nice huge lead. That sidestep two buff really good in season three. More plus frames. So you get you're seeing a lot more use out of it out of Eddie players in season three. No punish. I want to be down jab if you want to down one. I think he was trying to punish the relax four, but it was maybe a little too late. Nice. Scouted out the slide. Spiro maybe using it one too many times to get in. Look at this damage. damage. Spring kick, though. Rodeo throw doesn't get uh -huh. broken. That's a lot of damage real fast. Nice punish. I didn't even know that was that unsafe. I mean, Kakoma knew. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful punish with that back one, too. Remember when that thing used to knock down? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> This game has changed so many ways in so long. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. What, what, what's your take on it? Do you like the uh, seasonal annual update, or do, would you like it to be more spread out? Uh, I mean, I definitely don't want it less spread out than annual. Annual is like the bare minimum for me. But yes. like for at least big changes. Right. So yeah, we, uh, don't, we definitely don't want it every six months. Is yeah. That, that yeah. I'm asking if you want it to be like, I, I would I enjoy another I enjoy a seasonal update with each TWT season. Yeah. I just wish it was more like lined up with like the beginning, beginning of the season, season yeah. is the yeah. beginning yeah. of the I think patch. A lot notes. of people want that. I agree. But are you okay with like you know the the time we have for season two? I feel like people just learn season two and then we switched it to season three. Yeah, that's a problem. But I don't know. I just feel like that's the way fighting games are these days. They are. Yeah. It's interesting. I'm I'm just curious how people think about it. But here we go. I think I've just gotten used to it. If you had asked me maybe like a year or so ago, I might have had a more negative response towards right. it. Round one. But yeah, that's the thing, right? The Tekken scene, this is a uh, new territory for all of us. You know, Bandanaco, the players, and everything. 
Everyone's figuring it out. For right now, game two loses finals. Kokomo got the first one against Spiro. Nice punish. Hey. Catches out of damage. Rodeo throw gets broken this time. Yes, sir. Four circle forward three. Man, he's like, get off me. I don't want you to crash it, Paul. Whoa. What? <laughs> Woke up was, late into it? Yeah, was he trying to like counter hit a wake up kick? Punch through his head. That would have been such a call out if it worked, but both of these guys in rage. Spends it, pushes them towards the wall. No, oh my god. No! Spiro! Oh, I could have gotten the body! Hit. Oh! And he knows he got it. <laughs> Yikes. That was hype. He had that side wall splat, but I feel like he had just enough time to like maybe get one last hit in the agree. kill. I agree. And you have to do it. I mean, like, that same situation, right? You, have one, you know it's a side wall situation. You gotta swing. Just swing. Oh, double demo, man. This is when Kokoma gets a little bit antsy. The third gets blocked. I like the delay hop kick there, man. These corners are messing him up. Yeah, but that was a lot of damage for like a side wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. This, it's the worst position to be against Paul. Yeah, he's trying, he doesn't have rage. He's trying to use those sidestep through his force to get away. Damn, that's Eddie's sidestep? Yeah. <laughs> John Ding had a good tweet before he was saying like, you know, what's up with uh, all these uh, 2D characters having jumps and sidesteps and back dashes, Eddie still can't sidestep with that side. Oh, Damn. oh God. Give Eddie a sidestep, give Gigas a back dash. <laughs> Let Eddie jump. He can't sidestep. <laughs> Let him get a jump. But Kakoma continuing, continuing this win streak. Oh, sidestep through his four finds its mark a little bit off axis, but he still gets the combo. Oh, nice All dunk, good. but a little punish. Not a stack of dunk, but no punish. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like these rounds have been going pretty good for Spiro, but for some reason, he keeps losing them. You know? But not this one. Yeah, he's on the board here in game two. First and three, though. Four. Let's see if he can catch up. Fight. Now another slide gets blocked. All the way. Back? <laughs> He ran him trying to stop himself from doing this to the neutral three. Yeah, that was probably it. Yeah, because if he was doing running three, he would have got the running three attack. Spiral in the corner here, gonna try and you know, side roll away. Yeah. Get himself some room, but he's got a huge life deficit. Spends it, uh -oh. cornered him. Nice block! Not dead, and his spring kick is no go. Kakoma up two to zero, man. Spirogen has fallen off hard since making it to that winter final. He's lost five games straight now. Needs to take a breather. Needs to consult his designated coach. Yeah, I see Nashi taking the stage. I was gonna say that's Joey. We're out, of, we're out of luck here. Not all white people look alike. I'm just saying, if it was, he's not supposed to be there. That's all I'm saying. But it's, it is Nashi. He's the designated coach. They've been sticking to it the whole way through. I feel like, like you mentioned before, Spiro getting a little like antsy in a lot of these situations. Like, I think Kakoma's starting to get a read on it, blocking those running slides, yeah. uh, blocking that the second spring too. kick, yep. the slippery kicks. Even like, just baiting out the spring kick, right? Like he just puts himself in a position. He's like, no, man, not walked around it. it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly think Spiro is like, I, I don't know, I know he won't, but I wish he would switch the ball. <laughs> like, I, I just the, the the Eddie pick right now is just not looking good. I think. He would rather live and die with the I know. pick right now. That's why I said so. I know it's I know it's not gonna happen. Yeah. But that's what I would like to see. But here we go, Eddie coming back in action. Kinder Jim. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Give us a game. Round one. Como estás? <laughs> Freaking Jim in a man. <laughs> It's so good! Game on! Joey, you okay? <laughs> I'm glad people at home can't see the face I made. Yeah. Oh, no, they made Spir the same face, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, quick round one for Spiro in this game three. Key charging, trying to psych himself up. Hey, it, let's, remo it let's remove the stigma off of key charges. I agree! Were you here when I said that yesterday? Yes. 
Let's do it. Bring back key charges. That's the slow ones. And still natural combo. That's another 2 7 change that I forgot. Which one? That 4 4 2 1 is always natural combo, even oh, if yeah. you don't well, make the, and the just frame. He can do it for full crowd. Yes. That's a huge change. Yeah, a little punish on that. You can't really get a float on uh, the, the relaxed stuff unless it completely whiffs. Does Dandy 3 pick up Relax? No. Not even cheap. It needs to be at least a 13 or 14 frame move. Like, I guess on on paper, Paul could maybe do a wall sending 4 fast enough, but that's like so unreliable. I see. Maybe on that mix box, though. You never know. Phoenix knee. Wow, he oh, really... Oh, oh. He waited so long to do that get up low and paid for it. Kakoma's lost from these get-up lows quite a bit. Get-up kicks in general have not been his strong suit. Nice duck, but again, he's standing up too quickly. He's not getting the wall standing 1-3. Good. Little pokes here. Wow, finishes the string. I don't think that was counter hit. But I'm not drops sure. the combo. Duck boots. Gets a second chance here. This one's gonna leave him in rage. No, he left him out, maybe intentionally? Yeah. I'm gonna say it. Maybe it was intentional. Because that was definitely not the combo you would normally do. Oh, crap. Oh, but he might not matter. The down one takes it. Kakoma on set point here. Wants his run back with Anakin in grand finals. Yeah, that was a close one. The first time they met. But here we go. Can Spirogen stay alive? Get on the board here. Stop the bleeding. Or is Kakoma going to advance to Grand Finals? Sway 2. Like you mentioned, who needs Death Fist when you can just do instant Sway 2? All day. Oh, natural combo. Alright. Spiro gets it with the side step that it was 4. Not enough to put him in Rage. Lucky. Oh, but this might be enough to kill. Oh, Devil Man should hit the wall. He is done. 3 2. Boom! Dead. Season 3, baby. Perfect combo. Perfect spacing.